Redditors that have gone on Tinder dates what was your worst and weirdest experiences? He made me watch his homemade rap videos and tried to like his own FB page on my phone. I got matched with a friend of mine I was really interested in and everything was really cool. We ended up dating for a couple months after the first night we spent together. Then she slept with one of my best friends. That wasn't really cool. Not me. But my friend went on a really great Tinder date a few months ago. She said they really seemed to hit it off. They got some margaritas. Had a fun but very deep conversation about life and other philosophical things and then made out a little bit. She didn't hear from him the rest of the weekend. Which felt odd bc she had such a great feeling about him. She usually has a great radar with these things. She ended up stalking him on Facebook to see what he was up to. He killed himself. Edit. Elaborated on his death. So. I found a cool chick. She was into cars. Into guns. Drank and cussed like a sailor. Looked great she had the sexy resting itch face. I was so ready to smash. Well she hits me up and says she's going to a car meet and was gonna pick me up. I was so down for that. So she texts me saying hey I'm outside. So I run out and I see her in her car. Walk up and say what's up and that's when it hit me. This itch has the angles. Good ducking god she had saddlebags hanging over the seat of her car. This itch was enormous. So I played it cool. I asked her. Hey want anything to drink before we head out? She says sure so I run in and grab my roommate and say bro. I ducked up. I ducked up bad. I need a call like a level 10. Mom had a heart attack. Dad had a stroke. Your brother's in jail again but for murder this time and it was your job to keep him out. He laughs his ducking ass off. So I go back out to the car. Go to the car wash and I got the call and I put him on speaker. Bro. My brother's in jail again. My mom is gonna kill me. My dad is never going to talk to me again. And my brother's in jail in Nag's head for first degree murder I play along like oh duck 8 man we need to get there and get a bail bond. This is where it gets good, no man it's cool. Sobbing, I'm just gonna hit the bottle and pull the trigger she heard that we jump in the car. I'm doing my best to act panicked and we get to the house and we both run in and there's my roommate. Empty bottle of Jack on the ground and a half full bottle of Jameson tilted up and pressed to his lips and um, unloaded, handgun to his head screaming if you take one more step I'm gonna blow my brains out. And she ducking bolted out the door and took off. Always have a bro for an sauce or a level 10 emergency. Edit. So you Elkona is my wingman. Shower him with reddit bro love. I never expected it to take off like this. Also here's the convo we had in the car at the car wash. We went on 3 dates. The next time she asked to see me. I told her I was visiting family and wouldn't be available until the following weekend. In that moment. She freaked out and sent me a 7 page long text about how I destroyed what could have been a perfect relationship and that she wanted to marry me still if I would just put her first. She then left me a voicemail of her singing you got it bad by Usher while crying and saying she loved me over and over. Two days later she sent me pictures of her burning a bucket list she had made for us. Glad I got out of that one unscathed. She won't stop sending me naked snapchats. Last 3 weeks one every day pretty much. I get 4 or 5 non naked ones a day. I've ignored every one of them. I was drunk and getting over an ex when I went on the date and slept with her. At her house luckily. Don't want her knowing where I live. I told her nicely I didn't want to go out. Then I told her harshly when it didn't stop. I blocked her on whatsapp and tinder but I'm getting naked snapchats so won't block her on that for a while. Met one charmer after talking for a few weeks. After agreeing to meet at a nearby coffee shop. I show up right on time. 10 minutes later I get a text from him to come outside. Seems sketchy but there's people about. So why not? I stand directly in front and he appears out of nowhere in a hoodie. We walk a bit before he asks me to walk down a darkly lit street. I say I'm uncomfortable and he immediately starts waking away. I assume he's joking and call him only to hear him screaming at me on the other end. He sends me a text a couple of days later insulting my hair and telling me to suck my big d unique rizage. TL. 
DR guy wanted to dharma me then proceeded to call me racist slurs. Thank you. Internet. Perfectly nice date. 20 minutes into it. She says. I'll be honest. I know what I need in a man. And you don't have it. At 25. I would have been crushed. Wondering what it was would have kept me up for days. Being 35. I thanked her for being blunt and was happy to have an unexpectedly free evening. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Stranger. I feel like. Jill Masterson. First date is going well. She's way out of my league and seems very much into me. Later. We're back at my place. After dinner and making out on the couch a little. We head into the bedroom and the clothes are coming off. Just as I'm about to slip it in. She says. Wait. What? You should know. I have herpes. Very funny. No. I really do. And I'm in the middle of an outbreak. You're joking. I'm not. Do you need a minute? Being fairly herpes naive, I reply. Up, yup. I go out to my porch and sit down on a chair. After a minute, I can hear her crying in my bedroom. She dresses and comes out. She asks me if I need time to think. I tell her that I do. We talk a little about other things. I drive her home and then spend the weekend completely torn up. Weighing my options. Is she worth getting her peas over? You've only known her for 6 hours. Ultimately. I go out with her a few more times and it turns out. Not only does she have the herbs. But she's batted crazy. I dumped her. She tries to kill herself. Another hilarious story in and of itself. And I test negative for her peas. Back to the drawing board. Met with a girl who ended up being 16. I was 18 at the time. She told me how on her last date the guy drove her to a secluded area and told her she had to give him head or he won't drive her home and she asked me not to do that to her. I took her home immediately. Never met another girl online again. Friend from class matched with my then girlfriend, now ex. He informed me of the match and proceeded to set up a coffee date, instead of him showing up to the date. I did. I had the pleasure of watching my girlfriend freak the duck out. Recently met this guy on Tinder and been on 3 dates with him. First date went really well until his car got towed. Second date went to his place. Got drunk and banged. Ended up with condom inside. Proceed to freak the duck out and had to go to ER. Third date he got me high for the first time. Got way too high. Freak out again and start pinching his nipple really hard and speaking Thai. He added me on FB after that. 8 stroke 10 would go on date again. I am sure a grinder thread like this would be much more entertaining. My profile pic is a toilet. The first time I met a girl we actually talked about toilets for an hour. Met up for a coffee after having quite a nice chat over Tinder for a few days. He sits down and says hey nice to meet you. Then continues to pull out his laptop and sit there in complete silence for the next hour. I had nothing with me but my phone. Since I thought coffee date means conversation. Should have left sooner. Edit. Did not expect replies. Went to sleep sorry 3. She was lying about her age. And wanted a baby. Immediately. Only ever went out with one guy I met on Tinder. He was a very popular hipster why rich kid that didn't want to be rich dude and I'm a borderline hood red latina that grew up in a rough neighborhood. I didn't think we'd hit it off but gave it a shot because he looked like Robert Downey Jr. With lots of tattoos. We ended up having a ton of similar interests and one date became two. Two became three. And one month turned into three months. Eventually we broke up because he decided to take a job playing his guitar that would let him travel the world. Q6 months of weird. But sweet and sappy, and sporadic. Love letters. Texts. And calls from different locations all over the world. We both ended up moving on with other people. But we still randomly like each other's photos on Instagram and talk very occasionally. His band is playing at Lollapalooza. And he's doing very well for himself. It was the most random, but interesting and only, Tinder experience ever. I met a girl for a date who turned out to be much better looking than her photos which is always a nice surprise. The date went well. Just dinner and a walk. And we said our goodbyes. 
the next day she invited me out to a friend's birthday party downtown as her plus one. I wanted to go but I had to work the next day and wanted to be able to drink a little since it was a bunch of people I didn't know. She said that's alright. You can park at my house and sleep over, charging, so. Of course. I said yes. Fast forward to the middle of the party. I'm enjoying myself chatting it up with her friends and having a good time and next thing I know she absolutely loses it and storms out of the bar leaving me there. Drunk. With her friends. I still have no idea why. One of them told me she wants you to go after her. And I said duck that. It's our second date. Which not a single person blamed me for. I stayed at the party and switched to water while I continued talking with her friends. That was over a year ago. And I still regularly hang out with them. They have since stopped talking to her. TL. Dr. No6. But got to keep all her friends. We went out for drinks. Then walked around the park and was an enjoyable date. I took her home and parked next to her apt. She said I shouldn't park there because I'll get towed. I said I only need 3 minutes to walk you to your door. She said seriously. You should park in visitor since you can stay all night and not get towed. I responded that I only need 3 minutes to walk you to your door. I am not a smart man. Not me. But a buddy of mine shacked up with a chick he met through Tinder. The following day he regaled us with the tale of the insana six he had the night before with her with great detail. Fast forward a week. He now has herpes. Went to see 50 shades of grey. Got a blowy in the parking lot. Got caught by a security guard on a Segway. Ended up with chlamydia. I no longer Tinder. Edit. I didn't know that you could contract it that way either yet a trip to the clinic proved it to me. Right. So I was in Shanghai for work. And decided to see what was happening on Tinder. I had to use a VPN to get around the great firewall. Anyway. Matched with a girl and chatted briefly. She asked if I wanted to meet at her hotel for a drink. Alarm bells should have been ringing willy. So I shower up, pop a breath mint, and smash out a lucky panda cigarette whilst flagging down a cab. I get to her hotel and to my astonishment. She is the woman in the profile. Waiting for me at the hotel bar. Have a few cocktails and things are going well. She's friendly. Seems really into me. Then she asks if I want to go up to her room for some more drinks. Dear diary, jackpot. So we make our way upstairs and she doesn't waste any time and jumps straight in. When all was said and done I thought right. Time to do the Shanghai shuffle. So I'm putting my clothes on and about to leave and she weighs what about my money baby? My heart sinks quicker than a mob snitch swimming in concrete boots. I ask her what she means. Not for free six. 3000 RMB. She replies which is just shy of $500. Duck me. I just rooted a hooker. So a heated argument begins and I'm planning my escape lest there be a pimp waiting outside. She starts screaming at me and hotel security arrive on the scene and hustle me down to the lobby. She follows in tow demanding her money. Screaming. Yelling. Making a scene. Everyone's looking. I've really hit rock bottom here. Then I see someone get out of a cab outside the hotel entrance. I gap it and leap into the cab. Telling the driver to drive 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 in the worst Chinese possible. I probably said something offensive. But the power of the almighty Yuan saves the day and he speeds off. Taking me back to my hotel where I can hit a bottle of scotch and reflect on what the actual duck just happened. TL. Doctor I sharp lifted a hooker in Shanghai. Edit. Well this blew up. Cheers to the man or woman who gilded me for my sordid affairs after dusk in Shanghai. Long story short, spent an entire day doing LARPing, look it up, with a female friend. We went back to the same hotel room, again, friends, and just sorta hung out. I changed out of my wet clothes, leaving my underwear on, but not bothering to hide. In dry clothes, both of us, we cuddled up together and watched YouTube. Clothes were removed, but nothing more than just cuddling happened. Fast forward to the next morning. I took a shower before the second day, jokingly mentioning she could feel free to join me. To my shock, she did. Nothing happened, but I teased her a lot. This won't be so bad. Except I was engaged at the time. 
Still am. Me and my fiance worked through it. She even gave me the go ahead to be polyamorous if I wanted. I tried some things with said friend and it was not what I expected. That's not to say naughty pictures, cuddling, and sexual talk is gone. It's just less consuming now that we relieved the tension.